imagine what it would be like if you could create your finest hour. Where would you be? What would you be doing? How would you feel? This morning I want to paint a picture of hope and possibility that you could take back to your workplaces, back to your homes, and back into your own lives, and with it, boldly create your finest hour. And do you like books? I love books. And I can't put into words the impact books have had on my life. And I'm kind of reminded of what Joyce Mattingly once said. She was asked which three books had the greatest influence on her. She said, well, that would have to be the Bible, my mother's cookbook, and my father's checkbook. <laughs> We could find books that contain the leadership secrets of everyone from Matilda the Hun to Abraham Lincoln to Wendy Dave Thomas. Or we could find books about leadership that's invented, reinvented, visionary, strategic, servant, maximized, charismatic, innovative, intuitive, break, courageous, creative, and enlightened. Or we could have our leadership by the numbers. You know the seven habits, the 14 points, the 21 irrefutable laws. Now, all of these books and the programs they represent are extremely valuable. Still, I wanted to find a simpler system that would help everyone learn what really matters most about personal leadership and achieving your dreams. I want to offer you this hope. I have found a simple strategy for success. I studied for over 30 years the life of one of the greatest leaders and motivators of the 20th century. I have tested this approach against the lives of hundreds of other successful men and women. It's worked in my life and it can work in your life too. This morning, I'll share with you my findings. Now this changes everything. What you thought was impossible is now certainly within your grasp. It may only take a step to get there. By changing the way you look at something can change everything. You see, when we changed our perspective and lifted our face off the ground, those huge canyons were nothing more than cracks in the ground from which we could march purposely to our goals. You see, you're just a step away from your finest hour. And I want to challenge each of you today to take vision, courage, and determination back to your workplaces, back to your homes, back into your own lives, and with it, boldly create your finest hour. If you can see it, you can paint it. Do it now, and don't look back. And never, never give in. These timeless truths are as valid today for you they were for Winston Churchill. Now what will vision, courage, and determination give you? Let me sum it up in one word. Victory! They'll give you victory. Thank you. Now you reach your finest hour. And God bless you all. <laughs>